Hey fellow Vault Warriors, it's Angry Turtle and today I have a quick tip video as well as some best torso mods you can have for yourself that I would recommend. And if you play Fallout 76 for any period of time, you know that the best modifications for your armor are available on the torso, but you can wear only one torso. So like in this example, I'm wearing emergency protocols to be super tanky. But then if I want to fly, I have no jetpack. But there is a very easy solution. You can actually craft a second torso and equip both on the quick wheel. So as you can see, I have in here my protocol torso on the quick wheel and I have my jetpack torso with different legendary effects because that's a separate craft. Attempting to craft exactly the same is like impossible. So that's a different torso. And all I need to do, if I suddenly need to fly, I just click here, I fly. When I don't need to fly, I want to be tanky again. Just push off a button, choose one of those two. Of course, you could have more if you want to on the quick wheel, but those are the two I'm using most frequently. What are other good torso mods for power armor and regular armor? Because you can do the same thing with the regular armor. So let me just quickly show you. So, cool power armor mods for the torso. Apart from the jetpack, uh, jetpack, you know what it does. If you want to fly, you have jetpack. Emergency protocols that I'm using, whenever your health drop below 20%, speed increase doesn't really work if you already have speed demon, but you take 50% reduced damage, all damage by half. The other cool things that you can have on a torso is the Tesla coil. And Tesla coils allow you to like passively tag enemies nearby, like close to you, they will be zapped a little bit with this Tesla coil and tagged. So that's cool. Then you have Medic Pump. This is very interesting modification. It basically spams steam packs for you as soon as your health drops below 50%. So this is very useful for a super tanky full health builds. It makes you almost unkillable. There can be a server lag that stop the pump to actually apply enough stim packs, but usually it will just spam stim packs as long as you have them in your inventory. There is no cooldown. Then there is one more. Kinetic Dynamo. And this is really cool if you are using any type of a build that consumes AP like for example, shredder build or automatic melee weapon build, or you are using dodgy, when you will be hit by enemies, every hit from enemies will recharge a little bit of your action points. So you are being hit, your action points are being recharged and you can keep using them. So this is really good modif cool modification for a torso. Now let me show you the regular torso modifications, not the power armor. So in case of regular torso, if you want to have a jetpack, there are only two armors that do offer that, and that's Brotherhood armor and Secret Service armor. Good thing is, even if your set is different, you can craft one piece of Secret Service equipped jetpack and have it on your quick wheel. Just use whenever you need to fly and go back to your favorite set. So that's awesome that we can do it. Just push off a button, you can have jetpack. Then there's Pneumatic. It's quite interesting for melee build because staggers will last a little bit shorter. It's not amazing build, but good one. Then you have Biocom Mesh, and this one increases duration of all your camps. So if you are a heavy cam user in game, then this Torizo mod is really good. It's really good if you farm experience and you want those berry mentals to last for longer. Then there is a Dance mod. This mod greatly reduces damage from explosions. It does apply to self-explosion damage. So if you are using a lot of explosive stuff like grenades or launchers, you can greatly reduce damage that you are taking with a dense mod. Then you have asbestos lining. That's the last mod and very useful for the Colossus fight. This mod completely stops all dot damage from fire. So all those falling embers during the Colossus event fight, they will do nothing to you if you have asbestos lining equipped. So you can just keep one torso like that for this event 
and equip it as needed. So those are my favorite picks for torso modifications. Let me know what you think. Are you using jetpack on the quick wheel? Are you gonna try? Or you are not interested? Maybe you don't like jetpacks. Or maybe jetpack is the only thing you are using. Definitely let me know. And that being said, thank you all for watching and see you all in the next one.